You put your kids on the bus telling them to behave, but it's drivers who may need the scolding. We found hundreds of them busted for bad behavior by those speed and red light cameras. And we know there are hundreds more. Let me look up mustache face, hug and kiss. They may be the most precious cargo on the road. Little ones backpacked and bright eyed, ready to face another school day after a ride on the bus. I keep my fingers crossed that they all stay in their seats. You worry your kids will be on their best behavior, but what about the drivers? I trust that my bus driver is following all the, the laws. My bus driver is like really good, so I've never seen a speed. But we have catching bus drivers breaking all the rules once they've pulled away from the stop. Speed and red light cameras captured them in action, blowing through red lights, speeding nearly 40 miles per hour over the limit, even getting busted in a school zone, all while carrying your kids. You've got, potentially on our bus, 50 lives that you've just put in danger. Danger that's real and recognized with a citation. ABC 2 News investigators found hundreds of them issued to local bus drivers between January 2010 and June. In that time, 99 red light or speed camera violations were given to public school drivers in Baltimore County. 74 tickets also handed to Baltimore City drivers. But that's only half the story because together Baltimore City and Baltimore County also pay more than 300 contracted drivers to transport their students. There's no way for us to know how many of them have gotten tickets. But we're not the only ones in the dark. How would you be notified if there was a problem operator with a contracted driver that gets these red light tickets or speed camera tickets? We, we would not be notified. That. That's because in Baltimore County and Baltimore City, ABC2 News investigators have learned contractors aren't required to tell the districts when their drivers get these kinds of citations. It's simply not in their contracts. It's a benefit to us that you've notified us about this. And we're going to certainly use it to our benefit as well as the citizens of Baltimore to make sure that everyone is safe and everyone is held accountable. Accountability that differs depending on who you work for. School system drivers get progressive discipline. In Baltimore County, that means a letter in their file with the first citation and potential suspension if the violations continue. And for some, they do. ABC2 News investigators spotted 17 repeat offenders in the county records, including one bus which was cited five times in just three months. Transportation manager Jim Mitcherling couldn't talk specifics, but says disciplinary action has been taken in some cases. I would not want to see one ticket from a bus driver or any other employee here in Baltimore County who drives a board-owned vehicle um, or equipment. One is too many. We transport students. Um, and that's just not acceptable. Baltimore City Schools Chief Operating Officer Keith Scroggins has the same no tolerance attitude, although we know less about the city's citations because they say they don't keep copies. As a result, the district could only supply us with a list of violations and a handful of tickets. We found 15 repeat offenders in the district list, including two buses that racked up six tickets each. Although the district tells us it has no documents to track the number of disciplinary actions taken against its drivers, Scroggins admits there have been suspensions. As for contractors who continue to rack up citations, would they have to notify the school system in that situation? I don't think we can require the contractors to let us know the disciplinary actions that they take, but they will have to let us know when their drivers get uh, red light tickets. Contract drivers will eventually have to report red light and speed tickets in Baltimore City and the county because of changes both districts hope to make to their contracts. Other districts don't have to make that change. A school bus driver in Anne Arundel County is a school bus driver. Transportation Supervisor that. Chris Carter says all their drivers are held to the same standard. And in a district that claims to have no camera citations, that means contractors have to report any moving violation, just like the drivers who work for the school system. For us to treat them any differently as it relates to what we expect from them, their training, their in-service training, I think we've been doing our students an injustice. And in the end, it's the students moms and dads are worried about when they say those morning goodbyes. Have a good day. I love you. They feel the ride to school should be safe no matter who's driving the bus. The cameras certainly don't care either way. 
School system drivers have to pay their own tickets in both districts, and the county claims there are none outstanding at the moment. As for discipline for the drivers, we do, we do know termination is on the table if the districts do think it's necessary. Now, both districts say they want to add reporting requirements into their contracts, but those contracts can run as long as five years, so it could take a while, and we'll stay on top of it. Josie Sturman, ABC2 News Investigators.